Financial experts have revealed a new trend in the spending habit among residents, with both families and companies now increasingly seeking professional help to save and invest their hard-earned money. According to them, at a time when the global economy is still looking bleak, this is a good sign of maturity. 14-year-old Jessica Olson moved to Dubai with her parents last year. An only child, she lives a comfortable life and enjoys the culturally diverse and safe environment the Emirates has to offer. She enjoys shopping and going out with friends. However, the teen says unlike most people her age, her approach to money is more cautious and practical. I think it's quite hard not to spend money when you go out because you think you go to the, go to the mall, you almost... 100% guaranteed you're going to buy something. Um, or if I, I'll come home with a bag or a full stomach. That's pretty much how, how I come back from the mall. Knowing the value of money, it's, it's quite good because when you go out and buy something, you have to think, hang on a sec, that's if it's reasonable or not. While shopping malls may offer many tempting buys, she says she understands the importance and hard work involved in earning, saving, and budgeting. She says this sensibility is from her parents, Guy and Julia, who are financial advisors at Holborn Assets, an international financial services company. The first way she can do extra work are things like ironing. So if she chose to do some ironing, she'll get paid for that so she knows that it takes her an hour to earn x amount of money the other thing that we do is we have a reward system for her education as well so depending on what she actually achieves at school dependent dependent on the um, report she has parents teachers things like that then we will actually give her financial reward for that but she's not in a position to borrow more or to ask for an advance that doesn't happen in this household that she understands that what she has is what she's got and and within that, then, that means that she has to choose what she buys within that as a budget. If she blows it all on one thing, tough luck. You need to wait till next month or until you've earned more in order to get any more money to buy what else you actually want. They say they practice what they preach, starting at home as experts and parents. Meanwhile, according to them, in the last four years, the culture of saving has become increasingly popular among residents and companies in the UAE. We run courses, uh, I say courses, we run a, a program with a number of employers out here, multinational companies, um, and they've asked us to contribute to their staff handbooks, um, some educational material to go onto intranet sites for the staff to be aware of, and sometimes we run seminars as well to try and encourage people to think about the, the value of money and the, the availability, the very free availability of credit here, and the implications that that would have for, for the individuals, but then equally for the family as well, because whilst credit is freely available, the implications for not maintaining your credit or certainly for not repaying it can be significant, as we all know. However, with an unregulated market in the country, they say there is a need to further educate residents. Uh, that the majority of, of plans that are sold over here are taken forward over a 25-year term. And that's not necessarily ideal because you can imagine you don't necessarily want to be uh, tied in to contributing to a plan for that period, especially since Dubai is a very transient society. People often come here for a, for a five- or ten-year period and then they want to move on elsewhere. And so that's become the biggest issue that we've seen. Experts say the key is to seek advice from qualified financial advisors – Always read the small print and ensure your plan is tailored to your needs and budget. After all, it isn't just an amount you're setting aside, but your future. Kadisha Sali, 7 National News.